Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profodex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL Store Post tutorial for beginners. This is our part 5. Inside this video session guys, we are going to discuss about MySQL Store Post parameters. So in the previous video session guys, we had discussed that if you want to work with the parameters with MySQL Store Processor, so here we have three parameter modes called in, out, in, out. So how can we find about the details about the parameters inside phpMyAdmin UI? So if I back to browser, now inside here, if I clicking on the database, any of the database you can select from your list if I click on routines, click on add routine or any of the created store processor. So let's say that I want to click any of the created. So edit. Now inside this edit section, here we have as a third row called parameters. Now this parameter is what we are talking about. We have three parameters mode called in, out and the in, out. So what is the rule? What is the meaning of this? parameters mode we will understand in a second. In simple statement we can understand that the value which we are passing inside the stored processor are in parameter modes or in variables or in parameters. Now the variables which actually we are getting from as a output from the stored processor is called out parameters and the variable which is used both conditions like passing variables to our stored processor or taking value from our stored processor are differentiated as in out parameter. So if I back to slides, now here we have some definitions about the parameters mode. So let's understand all these first. So MySQL stored processor parameters. In MySQL stored processor, a parameter has one of three modes called in, out or in, out. It simply means that if you are working with the parameters inside a stored processor, then we have to define the parameters either in in parameter mode, out mode or in, out mode. So what basically in parameter mode May me means. So this is the default mode. When you define an in parameter in your stored processor, the calling program has to pass an argument to the stored processor. In addition, the value of an in parameter is protected. It means that even the value of the in parameter is changed inside the stored processor, its original value is retained after the stored processor ends. In other words, the stored processor only works the, on the copy of the in parameters. So what basically means about this paragraph? If I open a new tab, let's say that we have a simple call method to call any of the simple stored processor. So let's say simple stored processor. Now this is the stored processor that we have created and now it is taking a n parameter. So inside this firstly how can we pass the argument? Simply we can pass let's say that we are going to pass the string value to this stored processor. So let's say here name. Now while defining this stored processor we have to take the value as a parameter. So let's say create processor here we have to create called simple stored processor. Now inside this, we have to define about the in parameter. So firstly, we have to define the parameter mode. This is all about the declaration of parameter. So in next, we have to pass the variable name. So let's say that we have to take the name from this argument while calling. So in this is variable name. Now what type of value we are passing inside this name? So simply we are passing called varchar. So let's say that this should be something varchar and it contains the length. So let's say maximum 50 character value we will pass inside this as an argument. So what will be the basic syntax to actually declare about the parameters? So firstly let's say parameter mode. And this parameter is mode is one from this list list in out or list in out. Next, we have to pass the parameter name. And finally, let's say parameter 
type and here we have to pass the length now this is all about the syntax of declaring any parameter inside the stored processor now what this paragraph means this is the default parameter mode of any stored processor and this the value of this is protected while inside this calculation of this stored processor it means that even the value of in parameters changed inside the stored processor the original value is retained after the stored processor ends it simply says that if suppose we have passed or uh, any value inside here then this value is not changed inside this stored processor it will be kept as a original value it means that the stored processor is now going to work with the copy of this value not with the original value if suppose in future if we want to get the value of our in parameter so how can we get that so by using this in parameter mode we can actually get the original value so here in simple and statement we can understand that in is the default parameter mode which is basically used to pass and do our logic inside the stored processor the value of in parameter is protected it means that we are not going to change the value of in parameter throughout the calculation or throughout the logics of stored processor the original value should be retained inside stored processor it means that the stored processor is doing all calculations with the copy of this value not with this original value now if we back to slide now here we have called out parameter so simply we can understand that out variable is used to take the value while calling of our stored processor it means that this is the output value and this is all about input values so the value of out parameter can be changed inside the stored processor and its new value is passed back to our calling program notice that the stored processor cannot access the initial value of the output parameter when it starts so in the same way if we back here in the same way we can declare our output parameter as well so here we have to pass parameter mode as out next we have to pass let's say user id or let's say total count this is the variable name and suppose it contains the integer value so this is the syntax of declaring out parameter now out parameter basically our output parameter which a calling program returns means we are going to store all the results inside our logic inside this variable this variable should be returned while calling our stored processor the value of output parameter can be changed inside the logics of our stored processor but remember inside this input parameter we can't change the original value of this input parameter we are going to work with the with the copy of this okay now let's understand about making a program making a stored processor about this input parameter mode now if i back to browser close this first go to sql or let's say that by using our routines ui if i click on this routine name let's say that get a or let's say get book detail this is processor now inside this we are going to declare a in parameter now let's say that this should be something called book id and now this is the type it's okay now we are not going to add more parameters firstly we are looking about the in parameter mode now here we are going to define our logic so if i make some zoom and let's say that this should be something called begin finally we are going to use and inside this begin and end let's say select asterisk from our books table where let's say user id or let's say id simply because this books table contain if i open this book table in the next tab now if i scroll this pop up here and open this database to a new line and this is all about actually this is not opening so if i open a duplicate tab 
click on this database and click on the book section. Now inside this books table, as we can see that here we have our ID, book name, book email and the book price column. Now we are going to make our logic on the behalf of this ID. What basically it means? It means that we are going to define an input parameter which we will pass while calling any value from this ID and by going through this ID it will take the details from the table and give as an output. So back to our stored processor. Now let's say that select all from the books table where ID equal to this book ID what we are passing inside as an input parameter. Now put semicolon here go at the bottom for the further configurations and let's definer equal to root at the rate localhost and definer is ok and this contains the SQL so if I press go button here so successfully we have created our stored processor using in parameter mode so now how can we call this stored processor so this is all about stored processor so if I copy go here or let's say go here click on the SQL and let's say call a statement this is a stored processor but now it is containing a input parameter so we have to pass an argument here so if we back here and let's say that let's say that we are going to pass the one value so dynamically while passing this one value it is picking as an input parameter and if I open routines into a new tab clicking on this edit button so while passing one value inside this book ID it will take the value sorry argument from here go here and it matches with the details and take all the values from the books table so go here and just pass one inside this argument and if I press go here so this is all about the details of the book one again if I click on this edit and line and let's say, ja let's say that I'm going to change the value from 1 to 3. It means that this time we want all the details of this third line. So now if I press Control Enter, now as we can see that we, are, we have selected the third row successfully. So this is all about input parameter. Now if suppose we, we are not going to declare our routine by using this PHP MyAdmin UI. So how can we make this definition right here inside this SQL tab? So go here, define delimiter, finally end delimiter here, it's a del delimiter, back with the semicolon and now inside this we need to declare call begin, here end and in the same way the logic we have to provide so if I copy all these codes from here go to the SQL tab and replace with this block this is the same logic what we have defined inside this text area so back here now we have to create let's say create processor and now we have to pass the processor name so get book detail copy that pasting it here but this time we have to pass an input parameter while declaring this stored processor so let's say we are using in this is input parameter now here we have to pass the variable name so this is book ID passing it here but book ID is containing the integer value so we have to define as an int here now this is all about defining a stored processor which is taking as an input parameter of integer value if I back to this tab now we will actually pass more than in one more than one input parameters to our stored processor here we have simply passed one parameter if we suppose pass one more parameters let's say in parameter now this time we are going to pass with this let's say book price so just go to this tab and let's say book underscore price it will contain also integer value so back here and let's say that ID equal to book ID and the column that we have something called book underscore price so let's say book underscore price and the value equals to this book price what we are passing as an input parameter now if I go at the footer and save this stored processor now successfully we have saved that so copy this stored processor go to SQL tab 
let's say call store position name and inside here I am going to pass the two parameters so let's say the first parameter we are going to pass let's say 2 in the second argument we are going to pass our value let's say 50 so this should be 50 now if I pass semicolon press ctrl enter now this is the value that we are getting but let's say that if you pass 150 as we know that this value is not matching with our column so logic will be fail and no row actually retained after this calling statement so if I press ctrl enter but successfully as we can see that it has returned a row with these details but it seems to be wrong something so if I open processors into a new tab go here and this is get book detail now if I edit the definition so let's say go get book detail now inside this actually I think that the stored processor is now confused about this book price as the original value variable or also with the column name because these two are same so let's say that book price or let's say if I change the variable name something called book amount so copy that and pasting it here so if I click on this go button successfully we have changed that now back to our calling section edit and line press go now here we have some error something called unrecognized uh, I am pressing semicolon here pressing enter again we have some error so now I think that I have some PHMI admin error which is blocking the execution of this statement so don't worry at all about this error so back to our stored process definition section now here as we can see that here we have called execute button so if I press and I'm going to pass some value so let's say 2 and the 150 amount so if I press go button now as we can see that zero row returned it means that we have no detail with this detail like ID 2 and the book price is something 150 but if I pass the value which is matching to our column so back to our table and let's say the 3 and the 50 book price so back here click on the execute let's say book ID is something 3 and the book amount we have something 50 so if I press go button as we can see that this is the row what we have table with this detail so successfully guys inside this video we understood about the input parameters of a stored processor means how can we define and how can we pass as an argument while calling our stored processor and also behind the scene this is the phpMyAdmin generated code to actually call with get book detail with the input parameters so successfully guys we understood about the input parameter in our next video we will understand about this output parameter as well so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day